And Jody, what did it feel like down between the benches tonight? It was awesome. I mean, the start of this game, the Blue Jackets came out with intentions, and, and, and they took care of them. Shooting the puck, Sedlak had three shots in his first couple shifts. Uh, Brandon saw it to me was a beast. Uh, he, he had a breakaway and three shots in a row. He had six shots after the first period, and then it seemed like guys started to follow. Matty Calvert was a beast all night long. Sergei Bobrovsky earned his uh, his piece tonight. He, he has played outstanding the first couple of games, and tonight his team responded with power play goals. Zach Warinsky, as, adverti as advertised, connected with Nick Foligno. That was just a fun game. And at the end, of course, Chicago pushed. Um, they played Kane. I don't think Kane came off the ice. I don't think Keith <laughs> don't came think off the ice. I don't think Taves came off. Those guys were gassed. And the Blue Jackets, in the, a lot of zone time, couldn't retrieve pucks there, but kept him to the outside, and Sergey did his job. So they got the win. It was fun. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Kept him to the outside because even when they looked like they were under siege, the shots were uh, they were in control. I felt that they were in control uh, tonight. I I felt that that too, and I think the the there was a little bit of pandemonium in the building with all the Blackhawks fans, and then the Blue Jackets fans going over them, and then the Blackhawks fans go over the top. So that just kept escalating, and at every chance that the Blackhawks took, when you're the home team, you don't. You're not used to feeling those optimistic oohs and ahs uh, when the opposition is taking shots in your building. So you could sense that on the bench. Uh, Torts always talks about this team having something uh, to feel good about. Mm -hmm. And they have something to feel good about. And, and I, I think that's important. The power play clicked. The penalty, penalty kill was outstanding. The goaltender was great. And now they move out of, out of town on this little homestand into uh, a nice little road trip. Yeah, and that you talk about the penalty kill. It was great, and especially when they pulled the goalie and just went six on four for a long period of time. But again, it's about guys staying in the shooting lanes. It's about blocking shots, which they did a lot of tonight at key moments. They did a lot of that. And, and, and you're talking about a defensive core that had five guys and two of those five guys are rookies who have only played three games in the NHL. And, man, what a job they did. They, they were outstanding. And, um, you know, it's interesting. If you go back to that San Jose game, there was a four-minute period that they killed off. And I think it was the best four minutes they played. They established their simple game, blocking shots, like you just said, the mindset of getting the puck out of the zone, and all, five, all four guys were on the same page. They got through that, and tonight, those penalty kills, there was one early in the game, uh, Hardinal tripping that they, they just blew right through it. A and those are good moments for a team. You talk about little things to feel good about, the penalty kills with the workers and the goaltending, th that established kind of a mindset for me in this game. Yeah, and they spent all week working on those things. Yeah. And, I, and I don't know if Torts will talk about this or not, but I would imagine it feels good as a coach when you spend four days like driving stuff home and going over it and teaching. And, and he talked about last year, he didn't really have the time to teach that he wanted to teach. He had that time in camp. He had that time this week. And it looks like whatever he taught, at least for a day, it was grasped and they went out and did it. That's a real interesting point because we always talk about the players getting rewards. Well, listen, there's a four or five man coaching staff that pound their heads off the walls trying to come up with ways or situations. Why isn't this getting through? Why isn't this working? I think they can feel pretty good about some of the things tonight because uh, even on the, when, when the Blackhawks pulled their goaltender. We talked about that. The penalty kill, the power play, the, the captain getting a goal. And he got shook up by a puck, a shot earlier in the game by Jack Johnson. He took high. He battled through that. He looked uncomfortable. There were some good things that I think the coaching staff, they probably won't admit it. We won't hear Torch yep. say too many positive things. I mean, that's all. He'll be happy, but not over the top. But I think that uh, there should be a little bit of uh, a sense of, of accomplishment here by them.